Hi, this is Colin from Connect the Watts, and this month, of course, Peloton made the big announcement that they would be finally complying with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission in a voluntary recall for both their Peloton Tread and Peloton Tread Plus after the death of a child and more and more reports of child and pet injuries. And while people who currently own the Peloton Tread or Tread Plus have until mid or late 2022 to get a full refund, Peloton did say in the shareholders meeting recently that they only anticipate about 10% of the treads to be returned. And I think that 10% number makes a lot of sense because a lot of the Peloton owners don't necessarily have young kids or pets they have to worry about. And many who do are able to fit their tread in a room or be able to set up some sort of blockage around the Peloton tread so they're not overly concerned. And I think Peloton's notoriously slow shipping and delivery service is actually helping them out a little bit here because just imagine waiting months and months to finally get your Peloton tread and then them having a voluntary recall. I think a lot of people waited so long and finally have this tread that they're not going to give it back unless they really, really have to or unless it's very dangerous. And since there's a workaround to keep it safe in almost all circumstances, I just don't see a very high percentage of people wanting to return their Peloton tread. And if we're going to be really honest, most of the people who are going to be returning the Peloton tread probably weren't using it much anyway. And they see this as an opportunity to get their money back on a purchase that maybe they shouldn't have made or that they regret making because they just never use it. So Peloton knows that most of their treads aren't going to be returned. So it made sense that they wanted to develop a new passcode system to make sure that their treads are even a bit safer. And that way, if you accidentally leave your key in or if somehow your kid gets the key, there is still an extra layer of protection because a kid would need to know that four digit passcode in order to turn on on the device. And this new feature finally has a name called the Treadlock, and it seems like Peloton will be rolling out this feature very soon if they haven't already, given that they recently updated their manual online for both the Peloton Tread and Peloton Tread Plus with instructions on how to use it. So let's see what the manual says about the new Treadlock. So on the first page, the additional note here is it says, do not write down or share the Treadlock password with people under the age of 16 or persons with reduced physical, sensory, or mental capabilities that impair the safe use of the equipment. The next part of the manual that has been updated is a picture of the Treadlock passcode system alongside a warning that, again, you should hide the Treadlock password from children under the age of 16 or people with reduced physical, sensory, or mental capabilities. And also it says underneath that, that the Treadlock is an additional safety feature that requires a passcode to unlock the Tread Plus. Setting up a four digit passcode will be required when using your Tread Plus for the first time. All users will be required to enter this passcode after 45 seconds of inactivity, except during a workout. Note, all user profiles associated with the Tread Plus will be required to enter the same four digit passcode. And then it goes on with instructions on how to change the existing passcode, or if you forget the Treadlock passcode, how to reset it by going to their website and following the instructions from there. So that is the new Treadlock safety feature coming soon to the Peloton Tread and Peloton Tread Plus. Now, in terms of when these treadmills are going to start coming back into the market, when Peloton's going to sell them again, no information or no new information has been released, although it is anticipated that the regular Peloton Tread will be coming within a few months, but the Peloton Tread Plus might take quite a bit longer. And that's really because the issues for these two treads are very different. For the regular tread, the reason it was recalled actually wasn't for child safety, but was because the screen kept falling off on people. So Peloton's fix for that is probably fairly simple. They just need to make slight tweaks and changes to their manufacturing process to ensure all the bolts and everything is working as intended to keep the screen up on the treadmill without it falling over. But for the Peloton Tread Plus, that is a very different story. To meet the US Consumer Product Safety Commission, a lot more changes to that are going to have to be made, including some sort of attachment or some barrier that's going to help prevent things from getting sucked right underneath the Peloton Tread Plus. So not only do they have to engineer this additional piece of equipment, they have to manufacture it, test it, and then send it to approval to the US CSPC to make sure that they test it before it finally gets approved and they can begin selling the Tread Pluses again. So I wouldn't count on being able to order or purchase a Tread Plus until maybe towards the end of the year. Either way, Peloton has promised to continue their Tread content as usual. So overall, it looks like this Peloton Tread publicity disaster is going to end up being a minor blimp in the overall picture of things rather than a major stumble and fall from grace. 
As always, let me know in the comments what you think about the new Peloton safety feature, the tread lock. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like it as it helps us a lot. Have a great day. Stay fit, stay healthy, and see you in the next one.